Welcome, welcome, Bocce Nation. We're here at Palazzo de Bocce in Lake Orion, Michigan. This is the inaugural American Bocce Open. I'm Matt David. I'll be one of your announcers sitting here with me. Meet Butcher Kochi from My Show's Bocce Club. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So we've got two championship games for you tonight. There's two big divisions here in this tournament, Double the heavy. silver and the gold. Uh, the gold division is your club pros. Your players that will travel nationally, internationally for tournaments all year round. And then in the silver division, it's your bar league champions. It's the, uh, the no, more casual player, the ones that are there for the social as much as the bocce. Yeah, they're there for the fun, like I, I've said a million times. They're, they're the Snoop Dogs, you know, they're laid back with the bocce on their, the money on their bocce. What is it? Bocce on their mind, and their mind on their bocce. Yeah, that's it. Simple as it. Uh, so we're going to start the festivities off here on the Silver Division Championship. We've got Lutz Inc. coming to you from Chicago, uh, and they're playing the Bocce Bros from Youngstown, Ohio. Yeah. Uh, Young up-and-comers, man, they're hungry and stuff like that. And, I mean, the Glutes has just been squeezing out wins, no pun intended. Um, but no, they've been handling their composition you know, quite well, a lot of great energy. Um, I think Vanessa uh, particularly kind of brings a nice spice and yes. energy to that team. It levels it off. You got three strapping guys, but we all know who wears the pants in that family, don't we? It's 100% V-Nice. Yeah. Uh, she is an American bocce state legend. Yeah. Uh, she has spread her wings over the last few years playing in different clubs, different club tournaments. Uh, flying out to Las Vegas for the Las Vegas Open. Yeah. She's a star. She's going to shine on these courts. What do you know about the Bocce Bros, though? Uh, the Bocce Bros, like I said, young scrappers out of Youngstown. Great, great energy, great presence on social media as far as just pushing the game to that next generation. And I, I think that they are that next generation. Yeah. They're it, man. So. They did bring the generation that uh, bore them, though, with them. We've got the Bocce Dad, yes. Paul, out there. Yeah. Uh, Anthony couldn't make it, so... Paul is playing in his place. Yeah, he's uh, jumping in. He's, he's like a new and improved Anthony. Sorry, Anthony, if you're out there, but. We're also missing Chris, uh, Carmen's brother. So there's a couple bocce bros. We're quick moment of silence for 9-11. For those that aren't in the room right now, those watching at home, obviously, listening to this, uh, we just had an electric room go silent. In the, for the for first the, time the whole weekend, For the to first be time the whole weekend. That was a uh, remembrance of this very important day, yeah. uh, the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Yeah. Uh, crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. That, yeah. I remember where I was. Um, and it is crazy. And we remember those that, that we lost. But we also just celebrate lives in each other. I think it makes right. it even more important that we're doing things like this. Let's celebrate each other in, in the thread that is bocce that yeah. binds us. That brings so. you together. We've got players from coast to coast, uh, yeah. north to south at this tournament. I think for them, this is going to be a weekend that they'll probably always remember. Probably not as clearly as they remember where they were that uh, morning 20 years ago, but yeah. Right. It'll be it'll be something that they take with them for the rest of their lives. No, definitely. I mean, and, and I've had the pleasure. I mean, uh, teams from New York, teams from uh, Dallas, uh, from you know, all over Sacramento, you know, and, and just so many groups just coming together and enjoying the game of bocce. Good bocce, good as bocce. you guys say, man. Yeah. You know? So and we got the handshakes happening right now. Everyone's slapping. I don't know if they mean it really. I, I think it's just uh. you know ceremonial. Um, the, it looked you know, genuine. But it, I don't know. Vanessa didn't look that genuine. It, she's got a wicked smile. I mean, just, you know, she, you know, Chris Isaac, wicked games, I like to say. She's an assassin with it. Yeah. For I a second you the there, song. I thought the bocce bros were all going to st stay on one end. A lot of the Cleveland and Ohio teams, they play four-man game, but all four men at, and women 
on one end throwing one ball apiece. Yeah. Uh, for us, we're playing the USBF open rules here. Right. Uh, and that's the four-man team split two and two on each end. Right. Yeah. So it is interesting. Who do you pair against? Do you do you even think about that? Or do you, are you so confident in your game that you say, yeah, I don't care who I'm playing. You guys, you two here, you two there. I, w I, would, I, would, I would think these guys are considering it at this level. Yeah. Hey, that, what side do you want to be at? These pairings are appropriate. That is the first stone of the Silver Division Championship game. And it is a beauty from Anthony for Glutes, Inc. Carmen, let's see if he can counter here. Long and lanky. Interesting style, and oh he does. Oh boy, what a ball. A, a great yeah. example of the two main shots of bocce ball. Yeah. He had a point from Anthony. Carmen countered with a shot. Yeah. And he stuck that shot real yeah. nice. His arm was like a rubber band. It kind of like just pulled back. And this is Mario. Mario dialing one in, seeing if he can Ooh. get tighter than that. Ooh. He's a little, little long, long in the tooth. Little, little long. long. So little long in the tooth. Just in case we've got some uh, folks that are not super familiar with the official rules of bocce. Burbage. Uh, we're not alternating shots. If your team is out, a.k.a. the other team has the closer ball, it's still your turn to throw. Looks that like Mario stick. delivered Man. a good stone there. Man, deceptive. That's in. It's deceptive. You know, Just when you think it's going to stop, it'll give the extra two rotations. And, you know, just when you think you're in, you're out. That Those two rotations are the difference. Yeah. Let's see if Carm can kind of... Can Carm back at it. it. He gives that little wiggle. Yeah. That wiggle at the top. I love it. That's one of my favorite... And he breaks it up again. It's one of my favorite things about bocce is everybody's distinct approach. You know... It's so fun. There's a lot of... I wouldn't say we're snowflakes, but there's a uniqueness to everyone's form, delivery, throwing yeah. style. It's Here's Paul. Paul's got that stanky yeah, leg out. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like he's getting low, 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 low. Uh, day, show day. These teams play on a variety of surfaces around the country. Their home clubs are uh, for the bocce bros. I believe they play mostly on uh, limestone. Or yeah, like I a, think it's limestone. Um, or yeah, a dirt. Yeah, yeah, crush, yeah. yeah, crushed limestone and dirt. Uh, Rocky Surf, and they play long courts. I've watched them online. They play really long courts, uh, and back the back wall stuff that goes yeah. on in Cleveland and that stuff. I mean, that's just sideways. So another important rule thing for this tournament: the back wall is dead. If your ball leaves your hand and goes to the back wall without touching a ball, it's coming off the court. In Ohio, they play back wall live. You yeah. can hit the back wall without touching a ball first, and it's right. still and live. They abuse. They the abuse privilege. that back wall. Abuse it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. There's a stank leg. It's like stankonia. Paul with the I stankonia leg. I love it. I feel like Andre 3000 when I talk, when I see oh, him. Oh, is he going to thread the needle he here? It. He Surgical. threads it beautifully. Surgical. Scapel. Anyone? Scapel? The bocce bros are first on the board with one point. We're playing to 12. 12 for the championship here. It's tight. It's tight, but they're moving at a nice pace. I don't think they want to step back and think too much about it. I've noticed, especially with glute sync, they, they don't want to spend too much time thinking about it. It's nope. Don't mull it over too much. You're confident. And go Stay in a rhythm. It. Yeah. Stay in a rhythm. Don't, don't rhythm spend too huge. much deliberating. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you don't, the rhythm is going to get you. Here we've got a deeper Polino start. Every Polino has to be thrown uh, across the halfway line, but you can't go all the way to that back pointing line. Right. Here's John. He's the pointer on this side. It's a great ball. Good angle. We're watching. The deeper okay. the Polino, the tougher it is to get your speed dialed in. And you can see it doesn't take being off much to send your ball yeah. far, far away. Yeah. Make no mistake, that was a far ball, but these are top teams. These are, they made it yeah. here for a reason. So it is not easy. Vanessa's got a Unless silky smooth Vanessa. delivery. Yeah. She doesn't get rattled. No. That's great speed, great yeah. pace. She's Polino high, she's offline, but she's, she's got the right weight on that shot. 
absolutely no time between these shots. They're getting up yeah. and letting it rip. So talk about v Nice's first throw. You know, it's not bad to be a little longer, to be a little outside, because a lot of these, these guys, to use a, a, a bocce term, will rafa, or, you know, if, if there's a close ball, you may pop that Polino out, and you're, you're almost setting up some balls in other places. Is you're that get, correct? You're giving them multiple targets by being too tight sometimes. Right. And so it's, if you're the right distance but off it, you've got, you're widening a window, inviting the opponent through the window, which is great. They're not going to be able, they're not here to rob your house. They're here to get closer to the Polino. Right. And if they shoot and they swing right through, you're still in. Yeah, and that's not an easy thing to learn. It takes, like, games and games. And uh, by the way I played this weekend, I still haven't learned that, obviously, um, with, with, with my record, my team's record. So, But, no, it, it really is. It's, it's setting up the balls around it so that you can almost like chess, see the move ahead. It's chess, not checkers. you got to see the move ahead. you got to protect, and you got to take advantage yeah protect your house protect your house take advantage of opportunities right julian yeah. delivers we'll protect a your great neck. ball here oh. the third stone for glutes Ooh. inc see Ooh. here there's no oh they're gonna talk now about gonna it talk about it this is I, I this is a i don't know if there's an official timeout or they actually take time there's there's no need for official timeouts you get you get a little time to deliberate yeah. talk about your shots uh, if you're abusing it, you can be put on the clock. Okay. Uh, sort Good of like a golfer. Good uh, to know. You honestly, can't order a Sammy, a Sammy. You can't go through the drive through No. It, this isn't, this, you know. We're not you running to the restroom. can't go get your hair done. All right, they've decided on the shot. I, I think it's the right call. Wow. And that's a great ball from Dante. Oh, shot. Yep. So they've, they, they have the ball Welcome advantage to here still, Dome. the Bocce Bros. Julian's got to lay this one in again. That was, the, that was the challenge that was laid down. Yeah. Can you do it twice? I think he can. Julian's really cold as ice. I've seen him a couple times this, uh, this weekend, and he just doing solid balls, man. It's another great looking stone. That's in. Stay in the pocket. All right. Oh, oh I love the placement yeah. there because yeah. there's not, it, you know, it's a absolutely. They go sh try and shoot that ball out. They could clip their own close one. Oh, that's a good point. So that's why they're not shooting. They got a point and like beat said, it. Dante fires right back. It's like a duel at high oh noon. Oh, my gosh. And that's that a beauty. That is a beauty. That's a beauty. Slip it in oh, nice and easy. Just like that. Woo. Dante. Yo. He's in the inferno already. He steals the point. Steals the point. I noticed, I don't, I don't believe they were playing these balls yesterday, but they've got the silver and red. I think that's got to be an Ohio State. It's got to be an Ohio Buckeye thing, you know. I mean, you know, my college roommate once said he was at a game and they, they chanted, we are the Buckeyes and we are killer nuts. <laughs> I, I that, that seems uh, out, of, out of this world to me. I, I, you know, but they, these guys are killing it right now. Yeah, I mean, they're up, they're what, was that two or no? We're, yep, we're at two nothing, the bocce bros. Okay. One point of frame so far. Paul delivering oh. a, another beauty. Dude. Look at this. Oh, special delivery. Oh, but that's that extra little, two rolls. You think it's you think it's done, and then it's got two more rotations right. on it. But like it's you good said, eight before. inches farther. Yeah, positionally, it's oh, he's it, fine. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. You'll notice one thing I always look at is what are players? Where are players' eyes when they're pointing? Are they looking at the target? Are they looking at their hand? Right. Are they looking at a spot five feet in front of their, in front of them on the ground? Are they? How are they setting their line? It's an interesting point. How do you set your line? I'm looking at my hand. I want to try and see that ball get released and know if it's leaving my hand the way I intend it. So you're checking the target. You're going back to the hand. I check a target. I check the target. Draw my line back to my hand, and then my hands. That's where it is. I find my spot oh, and I deliver. Inches. Oh, inches. Just too far. The inches we need are everywhere. So right now the Bocce Bros are taking a big advantage on the balls. Mm -hmm. They still have three to play. And Glutes Inc. is about to play their third, leaving them just so, one. So what are you doing here if you're outnumbered ball wise? You're just you trying just, to get some. You, gotta, you got a point. You got a point and you gotta it's time to make it cannot 
you cannot be throwing your fourth ball before the other team oh, throws their second. That's a little drifting lefty Lucy. It's good, good weight, but yeah, it's wide, it's wide and left. Yeah. All right, so Bocce Bros are feeling good right now. Yeah. Here we go. Help me, Anthony One Kenobi. You're my only hope. Let's do it. Crawl right. it. Get there. Crawling. Pleading. That might have done it. Yeah. That's point. One point. So now the choice is, do you try and yeah. point into that space, or do you shoot and make things easy for yourself? It looks like, I, it looks like Dante's calling for a shot. He's sending them to the corner so that they don't shoot their own ball with the ricochet. It's, it takes a lot of confidence. It takes a lot of brass bocce balls, if you will, to kind of set that up, right? To, to, to get that into motion. You yep. know, because you got to be confident in your shoot. You got to be, it, once you learn a shot, once you learn the, the mechanics of it, you find your own delivery, you can really, oh, let's see. Oh, he oh, nailed it. He nailed, nailed it. it. So nailed now they're it. sitting Bocci one. goes the dynamite. Bocci goes the dynamite. They've got a huge radius that they need to tuck into here. They just, Carmen there just made the it job like the real easy. the movie signs, like those big aerial circles yes. the aliens set down. It's the same thing, and Paul's just going to place it right Paul's just got to place it in a big circle right now. Oh, they can it's, easily it's walk pace. away with three. Ooh, ooh. ooh he's going to sit there. Is he going to get inside? Yeah. That's yeah, looking good. Oh, sneaked under the covers. That's <laughs> Oh, man. Ugh. One more from Paul. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's Carm. A, that's a Carm ball. Carm's got one. He's got the look. He's got the look like rock set. Oh. Don't let, ooh. You know, that's his first point of the game, I right. believe. I think everything else he's done is a shot. I'm not surprised to see that ball roll a little Do you think long. going from that, going from shot to point, do you think that, that it's tough? I, I think it's, it is until you've assessed, like, it's tough early in the game. Okay. Once you've gotten a few points under your belt, then you can shoot for a while, right. and that you'll, you'll find that point again. But he hasn't had to point in a while now, and it's, it's such a, right. a feel. And is that something that you would say, okay, that's an easy one. Pick that one up. Is that one you live to regret? Uh, we don't know. We don't, we don't, we don't know. The, it's, we don't it's have early. a DeLorean, a bocce DeLorean. We don't know. It's that's, ridiculous. That's for 2023. So, yeah. Monty! 2022, we'll be in the shop working on it. 2023, okay. we debut the bocce DeLorean. Monty! 1.21 bocce watts. Let's Blue see. That's Inks. a nice ball. Blue Tink has got to start feeling like they need to put a point on the board. Yeah. See a couple shots go in. No, now they're, go they're going to be loosening up here. Julian's going to shoot, try and get that out of there. So that was my question, Matt. Do you shake up your – you have such confidence. Oh. You just shake up your, I guess, your, your, your roll call, your alignment as far as who shoots when. I mean, is that a panic move? Or I do you feel I, it's not a panic move? If you, if you are confident, I feel anybody like, can go anywhere. I feel like you stay with a plan for, uh, for way longer than they, these folks have played yet. Stick to your plan here in the first four, five, six frames of a game. And then if things aren't going your way, now it's time to talk about adjustments. Gotcha. Can I, I, I don't want to go off topic, but can Chuck Taylor please, can they please hit V nice up? Because she rocks those 24-7, and if she don't get her own pair, of, uh, uh, I don't even know what I'll get. Yeah, I mean, that is, you, you got to get that on a billboard. When you're thinking Chuck Taylors, you're thinking V-Nice. I'll take the V-Nice And v not nice the other chucks. way around. Let me get those V-Nice Chucks. Yeah, let me get those V-Nice Chucks with the, with the bottom bocce ball pattern. Oh, that, Let's see what we got here. That's the dream. All right, so we're using a little wall. They're... It's a tough one. When you see a player use the wall for the first time in a while uh, on a point, it to me that says I don't have confidence it, in my speed. Oh, it, yeah. Okay. We're I getting mean, in panic mode. I think I think they might be getting a little. Ra I mean, I feel like Jody Foster in the panic room. Vanessa's not panicked. No, she doesn't. She, does she doesn't this. shake. No, no. She's been she here just, before. She's as cold as V nice. All right. Willing to sacrifice. Bachi Bros. Yeah, Paul. the Bocce Bros are very, they're very intense, they're more than, more than normal for me, you know. Yeah. Uh, they, they, feel, they feel it on the line, they yeah. want that Weber grill set. Yeah, yeah. they, they want to cook them up 
cook themselves up some Youngstown burgers. They want to make Chris and Anthony yeah. proud as they're watching back home in Youngstown. Or right. maybe they're on vacation. I don't know. Right. I just know they're not here with us, and right. we miss them. They want some walking around money. Look at this. You know? Wow. Bocce bros laying them That's in. Just twosomes. Twinsies. Tweedledee and Dante's Tweedledum. Dante's trying to give it a little go. Little go go. That's got enough. Oh man, Three's company. Here oh we my go. God. Jack having, Tripper. Anyone? They are having a party together. Anyone? Little Jack. Do no 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 no. Are we casinoing? We oh, might, what do we do? We ring it up. We might be visiting South we Point it Hotel up. and Casino. Casino. That is I feel all like Wayne Newton in this biz. We Woo! just doubled the Bocce Bros score. They are up like eight Wayne nothing I feel in this lucky. game to twelve. This could be the. This we could can't, be we quick. can't have a we can't have a championship shutout. No. That's no. not happening. V Nice ain't gonna allow they're, it. No, they're gonna fight back. Yeah, recruit the boys, get them in, get them in the huddle. They're gonna do a couple push-ups. Yeah, get them in the huddle oh. like unnecessary roughness. What was that kicker's name? I forgot. What she was a model. Get him in the get him in the get him in the huddle, man. Let's Be see. nice, they can let it go. Paul didn't have the stanky leg out for his Polino throw. Oh, there it is. There it Good. is. Yep. Wow, right. wow, 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 wow. See, Paul's looking at that spot about three, four feet in front of the yeah. in front of him on the court. That's what you he were just talking wants about. to send it on that line. He's That's got confident. I'm about. on that line. I'm on my way to the Polino. And how can you not be confident when you're these guys right now? I mean, yeah. They are really feeling it. How much? How much goes into your last game and just taking oh. the momentum there's, in a tournament? Yep. I think a lot of that is there's it's a mental game. Yeah. It's a mental game. It's a game of momentum too. So right now, Bashi Bros are flying Ooh, high. They had they were in a battle in their semifinal against CBC. Whereas Glute Sync, they they flew right through it. They kind of had a little Sometimes time to Sometimes that's down. better yeah. when you're in that battle. Yeah, take that battle. As long as you get out from under it. Yeah. Uh, battle toads. You're battle Remember tested. Great game. Battle tested. Mario trying to get the team back on yeah. track. He is wayward. Ooh. I feel like V-Nice needs to scream at somebody. Yeah, they, they need deep breaths. Here we go. Anthony's taking a line from the side. Sending it on its way. Well, looks that looks good. like a good weight. Yeah. That's good pace. And you put the, you put the bocce ball right on me. Oh. oh, that's tight. That's close. What do we got from the ref? It looks like it's still bocce bros. Yeah. It's still bocce bros. The ref, Andy. Bocce Zimmerman. bros in Glutes, yeah. Inc. One of the elite that we have around Oh, yeah, here. We, sh we should talk about Andy, our, our referee, Andy Zimmerman. Yeah. Uh, he is yeah. one of our tournament organizers. Mm -hmm. He's been uh, essential in getting all these teams here to this tournament. Yeah. And he's actually in his everyday clothes today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, make no mistake. That's a beauty. That's a That's beauty. That's what the team That's needed. That is exactly yeah, what the team needed. Flipping the momentum, right? Yep. Bocce bros aren't having anything of it. They're just like, like you can't see me. John Cena Car type Carm's going to go snipe this thing. Yeah. And Carm's been sniping pretty well so far. I haven't seen him miss. Yeah. I haven't been watching all the games by any means. I've been behind the desk, but I have not seen this guy miss. He did it again. Oh, oh. okay. He might have to. He might have to Britney Spears this one again. Oops, I yeah. did it again. Yeah, he might have to pull a Britney Spears. Get the pigtails out, folks. This ball is and toxic. the Catholic school uniform. It's time. They're shooting again. They're right now. The flip, script just flipped. Glutes Inc. sitting two points. The Bocce Bros have two balls left to play to change this. Well, this can be huge, though. A, a momentum huge. shifter, like we this, said. Yeah. You know, Carm's got a shot. He's got a couple ways to make this work for him, though. He did it again. But let's oh, see where the ball's the going. Oh, uh, the Polino. The came back. The Polino came back. Laid back. I, I was. Lean at back. At least they've got a nice wide radius to shoot into. Yeah. Lean back. Lean back. I think one thing they're looking at right now is what happens if we take out Glutes Inc.'s point. Oh, yeah. Are we sitting two, three? Right. What? That's a great point. Take some big swings. Sometimes it's the bigger picture. You know, because yeah. that's there's such a there's such a lot of room that if you don't stand back and look at the big picture, you you could see like you said, wow, get maybe we can get three. You get yeah. tunnel vision. Maybe we can get three here by knocking this ball out. We don't have to shoot. We don't have to you know point it in. 
Yep. We can shoot and and your and target is having more balls closer than the other team's closest ball. So no matter sometimes what. that means you're going right for the Polino. Sometimes that means you're trying to yeah. widen that circle. Paul's going safe zone. He's going into the. He's going into his happy place. It looks Jesus, like he's got yeah, the right he pace. He wants to snuggle up. Yeah. When you've got an 8 0 lead, oh you just keep you just kinda want to keep the train running yeah. on time. It's here. like when you when you find out that your next door neighbor is sleeping with your wife. Just, he's been snuggling up to it the whole time. Yep. One point there for the bocce yeah. bros. You wake up, up nine nothing, three points away from the silver division wow. championship. Wow. I I gotta be honest, I no I didn't expect this. I, 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 I saw a battle coming and we still might see a fight. Uh, I know the Bocce <laughs> Bros, they didn't come here with, they came here with Ooh, a fair amount kidding. of confidence. They play a lot of Bocce, but yeah. it's a different game here on this synthetic surface. It rolls a lot faster, yeah. and the back wall's dead, so it's a whole new game for them. They've adapted really well. They're playing great. Yeah, yeah. They, so, real quick, I just want to, for those out. wondering at, at home why the Polino was just sent back, it went past that final white line, so it goes back. Glutes Inc. gets to throw the Polino. The Bocce Bros still get to deliver the first Bocce ball. John, they with just the don't first have shot. the choice of where that Polino is. Big John Stud with the first shot. Let's see if he lives up to the name. You know, and Glutes Inc. I like what they did there. They put the Polino short. They took the Bocce Bros out of their comfort zone. I wouldn't be surprised if this is where Glutes Inc. want the Polino too. You're right, Vanessa. Usually her strong suit. She likes it to, like. Kind of oh. inside and tight. Yeah, she's just not they, quite getting it today. They've gotten used to trying to point deep into the court, and they she couldn't adjust. It's almost that like speed. reverse psychology because Bracci brothers have been playing so long, and then they finally got the Polino and said, "Hey, we'll play short." But, but they couldn't but they're shorten still, it up. Yeah, they're still in that long. We got to go long thought process. Let's see, and is this one going to stick for Julian? It's still going. So. It's still going. It's a little, little too much. The ball Come advantage on, has been squarely with the Bocce Bros this Here's championship going. match. Yeah, it's really, it's really, but that's got a nice speed to it. Slow and low, that is the tempo. And speaking of, I'd love to see Glutes Inc. slow these games down, slow the space between balls right. down a little bit, that's take some of the air out of the game. That's a great point, Matt. Bocce Brothers, that's a nice banger. That's a nice banger from the Bocce Bros. Yeah. But like you were saying, the Bocce Brothers, they're playing quickly. They're not thinking too much. And and maybe that's a good point. They, uh, Glutes needs to stop stop and just take a little breath here. But Julian, very important ball here. That's a good Ooh. one. That's, oh, that's Got the kiss. Your kiss is on my list. Oh, baby. Your kiss is on my I love Hollow Notes. Your kiss is on my list. And just a touch. The feel of cotton. Are you, do you feel you're more of a Hall or an Oats? Um, I'm an oats guy. I, oh, oh knock, could knock, be. knocking on heaven's door. That's it. Oh, That's, I was oh, going to say that could be a game winner, but we do have one ball back there for but, Glutes Inc. But a nice settle for the Bocce Bros. Bocce so. Bros love the way that turned out. Dante is very intense. And you know what? I love him taking the leadership role. Yeah, Captain you know Dante. I mean? Yeah, I feel like the movie 300, you know, where they're just going after the Persians, you know. Or is that Gladiator? You are not entertained. Oh, that's Gladiator. That's Gladiator. I'm sorry. Get your okay. references straight. You know what? You, uh, you came back to Italy with it, though. I did. It always comes back to Italy. Or, or Lake, Lake Orion. It's just the same thing, really. It feels or, like Italy today. It does, in the Palace of Bocce. Yeah. So he's just I trying to. I think that might, what do you think? Extend, stretch it. Stretch oh, he's going to get those legs. two, three more. Gonna... Just got to make sure he doesn't hit that back wall. It's settled real nice. That is two. That is 11 gross. nothing right now. And the the Bocce, Bocce Brothers, Bros. they're feeling it. They are one point away Close from victory. Close the door. You know, or is Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, ABC, always be closing. And. I find you, that's a hard part of the game, man. Yeah, I was just going to say, you fear that they're going to take their foot off the gas a little bit. They'll play a little more conservative, but... I don't think these guys are going to do that. I don't think they have a conservative bone in their body. Yeah. Check them for all 206 of them. I know. I'm a physical therapist. I know these things, guys. Okay. Hey. What about we, keeping it in the middle? 
Oh, it, the Bocce brothers have really been keeping in the middle. What's the strategy it, there? What What are you thinking when you look at a team that's focusing on that area of the court? That I I think that says confidence. I'm confident in my speed, and how can you not be? Paul delivers oh, a beauty again. Another one. The next door neighbor. She came over again. The walls. Uh, it depends on the court. It depends on your your setting. But a lot of times the wall is a bit of a wild safety card. net or a wild card. It could be a training wheels to an extent. It For really helps. Teams. Yeah, helps you with your speed. It gives you something to play with. In the middle of the court, it's just you and the balls, baby. Right. Do you like to do it in the center <clears throat> of the court? I'm a, I'm a center court guy. Okay. Oh, we haven't seen Anthony shoot in a while. That is wow. a big one. Wow, Anthony. Changing up the strategy, trying to make something happen He bangs, for his team. he bangs. Back to Paul, see if he can keep this pointing going for the bocce bros. Here we go. Those are slick shirts. I love them. The bocce did. They were telling me earlier they didn't like their logo. I go, guys, it's fire. Believe it's class. in class. Believe in yourselves. And obviously they're doing that just right now. So don't worry about logos. Worry about building something. And the bocce oh. bros are absolutely oh. building something with this sport. They're living the bocce loca. It's a little bit short. That I no, you think so? Yep. Yeah. Okay. He was pretty firm on that, Andy. Andy. He's seen enough bocce balls in oh, his day. Oh, yeah. He's called games for the Pan Am Women's Finals Championships. Uh, seasoned. Seasoned referee. Yeah. Like a nice Look at brisket. These. Look at these great camera angles, camera transitions That's from Rec Rec here. Yeah, excellent. Guys, this is top-level production from an up-and-coming company. These guys were here, I think, late last night, starting with late the, last the night. overheads and then just, it's been top notch. I mean, from the, I've had a lot of sound checks, believe me, Matt, okay? And this is one of the best. I would say probably fourth, but still. That's a top a five top sound check. Five in, in my book, that's pretty high, guys. See? Oh, left, left something to be desired. Yeah, there. What you do you know? Think? I think they should have shot. I don't know why they went now, off what it. You, to say shoot, this when is you say shoot, what are you looking at? Where are you looking to shoot on, on this point? I'm just I'm taking out their point. This they've got championship points sitting there. Okay, Anthony, take Anthony, my bring away. that Polino back. Get two for the glutes. Dear, 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 take my bocho away. Oh, I felt like I was Kelly McGillis on the back of the bike. Oh, the bocce bros still right have a ball Miramar. in hand. Oh, I got the need, the need for speed. The beautiful thing about that shot from Anthony there is he gave Glutes Inc. two points, so they can't just shoot at one here right. to win the championship. It's a point, point to win, or get real creative on how, how your angles work. And when you're talking points to win, we haven't seen one just yet, but we've seen some of these teams, you're talking a point and stick. Like yes. stick to Landy. Exactly. You know I mean? Like Biles in the Olympics. Biles? Oh, yes. Simone, Simone Biles. Simone, of I'm course. I'm sorry, yeah. I, I call her B. You're, you're tight with her like that. Yeah, I call her B. And so when B sticks to Landy, I mean, that's what you're talking about. The point... Un hard enough to knock out what you need to knock out, but stay there. Yep. Or else, with the backspin. Right. I mean, we'll see what he's we'll see what he's going for. It looks it looks like he's shooting the Polino. Grab that little silver ball, win the championship. That's their feeling right now. Let's see if we can do it here, Carm. Oh, yeah! and he got it. Whoa! In a shutout! Montel Jordan style, that's it! We didn't start Carl. a clock there, but the Woo. Bocce Bros just torpedoed through glutes. They Inc. just Vince Cartered the glutes across the neck. It's over. It's over. It's over Slam right dunk now. Contest. What a show from the Bocce Bros. Unbelievable. I know they had some good games today and yesterday, and they were up and down, but, man, showing true colors, Cindy Lopper style today in they, this final. Boy, they really found their stride coming down the stretch here. Yeah. Like you were saying, up and down at the start. You, they win a game big, and then all of a sudden, their next game, they're 
just giving points away. Yeah. It was hard to get a handle on them early in the tournament, but they yeah. have really been showing their true colors in this these last five yeah, games. Yeah, man, I gotta agree. I, I I agree with you 100%. And I what 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 impresses me is when you keep the gas. Yeah. To the oh, pedal yeah. to the metal. Because they that's stay not true the to easy themselves. Part. Yeah. And you just no let ups because the, let's be honest, the glutes are a formidable team. Look at look at these guys, beautiful people. The beautiful people. The Bashi oh, Bros. Unbelievable. They I couldn't be happier a for these guys. slugfest against CBC, and then they just go romping through the oh, glutes. Oh, man. Egg. We're going to cut a BTS-style video after this win, me and those guys. As Look at the smiles the on their faces. Unbelievable. Cannot get a what, what. Those are some slick-looking uh, medals. Yeah, and I love it, man. Put these young guys on the map. They're what is this? Yeah. Velvet? Are those velvet metals? Those they've got are a little. Excellent. They've got a little sheen to them. Yeah, yeah, they got a glow, like those guys do. They should have a glow. They played excellent, man. Unbelievable today, man. Um, wow, a fast final, but still like a, an energetic. I, I'm pumped yeah. up. Yeah, you know, I think uh, I feel like my 24-inch pythons are gleaming, and they're ready to just say their prayers and eat their vitamins on this. And you just. <laughs> on this next gold final, man. I mean, this should be a special one. Yeah. So the gold teams that we're about to, I don't want to yeah, skip let's not too jump. far let's ahead. Say, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's stick here with the Bocce Bros. Because you mentioned, yeah. let's put them out on the map. I think they're putting themselves on the map. 100%. I feel like our job is to give a bigger stage to these guys. Absolutely. We're trying, we're, we're trying to grow the game, let the game evolve, uh, bringing Wreck Wreck along for the ride, having a broadcast with this kind of production quality. Yeah. It, it really changes the the reach, the experience. It gets people excited. Yeah, it gets me excited. I mean, I, I'm their biggest fans. I love these guys and whatever. And they're so gracious, winning and losing, having fun. Although they yeah. did say that they would probably be charging 20 bucks an autograph after if they <laughs> did win, which I thought was not so gracious or fair. I got a 13-year-old I mean, son. I got bills. I can't spring for 20 bucks for, for an autograph for him. So, boys, if you're listening or if you're listening later, you best be giving me yeah. some free autographs. Let's get some. You charge 20 so that you can comp the good guys, right? I hope comp so. Comp the good guys like Nico. Yeah, I mean, I'm a good guy. My son came and played, had a great time. And I, I hope he watched this game just right now and watched the Bocce Brothers and be like, hey, man, in the next 10 years, hopefully I can be like these guys because – upstanding young gentleman on and off the court absolutely proud of proud proud to know them proud of them for all they're doing for the way they just played that game that was oh electric and mechanical yeah are yeah. they engineers electric mechanical maybe you know what i don't funny. know what their it's day job are. is a mechanical engineer he all works right. for goodyear i learned that about him yesterday um and uh and uh yeah, just to just that blue collar mentality man but just uh, hard to gold, gold something hard to gold yeah. man those guys have been awesome uh like i said personally great to meet, great to finally meet them uh in the flesh baby as i like to say um it's just awesome i got, couldn't be more deserving of this win tonight yeah. man. and i hope to party with them later on their tabs right they're yeah. buying, right? Oh, they're Especially buying a shutout. it's like a hole in one i don't know what their youngstown money is worth in detroit well, but what the yeah, what the exchange rate is? Yeah, I don't know what the exchange rate is, but I'm hoping that it buys a whole lot of bush light. I'm hoping so too. And JMO. You're a JMO guy? All right. I'm a JMO guy. I like bourbon. So as long as it's brown, I'll it's, suck it down. Yeah. It and if it's clear, that's all good. I never fear. <laughs> You're right. Absolutely. The gold teams are taking the court to the court right now to get a feel for the role. How much time do you think you give the, the, some established teams like these two uh, time to warm up? Hey. Do they need it? Two, five minutes, maybe tops. Max. We're going to get a quick uh, interview courtside. Alex Garrett talking with Dante of the Bocce Bros. The Don. All right, folks. We are here with Dante Lovell of the Bocce Bros out of Columbus and Youngstown. Big silver championship today. 
How you feeling, bud? We're excited, man. We didn't, you know, we came here one to have fun. You know, we didn't know what to expect as far as our gameplay, but uh, you know, see us, especially how we didn't do so well starting out, come out on top. It was, you know, we all played pretty well and connected throughout the whole game here. So we're, I'm excited, man. I'm excited for you. So not only did you skunk your opponents in the Silver Championship, but you had two nonstop days of bocce, of friends, of getting together, community. Tell me some of your takeaways from the whole entire experience. This was probably my, the most fun tournament I've been at. One, I got to see all the faces that over the year for the bocce community through social media. I finally got to meet them in person. So one, they're amazing. It's finally it's one little family. Um, but just to play all these games of bocce, well, guaranteed six games, all the fun, all the raffles, Palazzo de Bocce, the heaven of bocce here. Um, American Bocce Company put on probably one of the best events, and I already know the people I've been talking to are jealous they didn't come, and it's going to be bigger next year. So I can't wait, man. Well, i got to say I've seen you live streaming from a lot of tournaments. It's nice to finally see you with a medal around your neck. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's not like us, so this is, a, this is we're going to keep this one for sure. Big win for the future of bocce. Thanks so much, guys. Oh, beautiful.
and we're back here at Palazzo de Bacci in Lake Orion. This is the Gold Division Championship game. Really no surprises here in the teams involved. We have the American Sons of Columbus against Palazzo de Bacci. American Sons of Columbus hailing from Kansas City. Palazzo de Bacci, we've got half of a house team, Jose Bato and Hunter representing the Palazzo half. And then there's a little Illinois and New York flavor here. Natali and Leo. Uh, just a lot of great bocce talent here. Yeah. Six of the eight players on the court have represented the U.S. in international tournament yeah, play. And Jose Bato is kind of at the top of the list. Um, and it's funny because Andy Zimmerman, our referee for today, put me in on a little secret that when he asked the other members of the uh, uh, the uh, Kansas City squad, well, well, who's the second best? They all said themselves. So <laughs> it'll be interesting to see who stands out amongst the groups, and we're right at it. We're, we're not waiting. After it, the Polino is starting down on the Hunter and Jose side. The American Sons of Columbus players down there, we've got John, uh, I'm sorry, Joe and Greg. Greg is actually from St. Louis, but he plays with these guys a lot in tournaments, so they consider him a, a member of the American yeah, Sons of Columbus. A member of a very prominent St. Louis bocce family, the Della Croce's. Um, they have a tournament uh, in November, a very uh, nationally recognized tournament, and I believe the Nationals will be there too in the beginning of November. Yeah, so. beginning of November. I'm and this is him right here. He's into his shoot. Just very graceful, uh, very unbelievable. accurate. So, looking at that overhead screen, we've got a Polino, we've got no balls nearby. That's by design, though. Yeah. Uh, it may look like bad bocce, it's not. You're clearing. It's, this is really a lot of chess and checkers, chess not checkers going on. Uh, they're, they're thinking two, three shots ahead. They, they have a frame that they're trying to paint with each ball. Exactly. Exactly, like the Monets of the bocce court. Exactly. It's unbelievable. H Hunter Joe. is a great pointer. I, I watched him all weekend long. It's unbelievable. And here comes Jose. Ooh. Jose stays low, goes wide. Just a bit outside. We um, won't see that happen too many times today. No, no. But yeah, Hunter has been an awesome lead for this team. Um, he, he's, he reminds me of the Doogie Hauser of bocce. Just a prodigy. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. He won uh, the under 21 bocce tournament, uh, national bocce tournament, as a, I believe, 19 year old, maybe 20. Wow. Look at that. Kiss. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Just like Prince, kiss. It's going to be hard to. Clear that ball without moving the Polino. We'll see what the approach is from the American Sons of Columbus. Uh, how close and razor thin is that shot? I mean, because you don't, you don't really want to move the Polino too much here, right? Because you got a good, you got another ball right yeah, there. Ideal, ideally, you want to just clear the Polino yeah. and it, it's so keep, close. Or clear their ball and keep the Polino where it is. We'll see, we'll see how they play it. Greg, oh, they play it wide. Yeah, a miss wide. from each side. Nobody's perfect, people. No, not even these guys. They're not robots. We're down to a ball aside. Palazzo de Bacci holds the point right now. It'll be interesting to see how the American Sons of Columbus John, approach this. Yeah, John Captain's kind of coaching around. He's cuddled them quickly, but doesn't take a long time. He doesn't want to overthink it. Let's just move. It's my bocce, it's my choice. There we go. Joe looks like he's tracking a little to the right. Oh, I don't know if you can hear it, but we've got a bronze division champion. Oh, pandemonium here. It's World War III. That's a bronze division championship win for Botchley Crew. Oh. Really proud of those guys. And that is two. That's a beauty. That's two. Tuck it. That's touch. Yep. Wow. Palazzo de Bacci. Two to lead it off here. 
They'll throw the Polino and the first bocce ball. Leo Giannotti from Highwood Bocce Club is the lead for this side. Leo's the executive vice president of the USBF. He's been a bocce mentor for many of the up and coming bocce talents in Chicago. A very generous spirit, yeah. a very gracious host. Yeah, and now he's me he's mentored the mentors now. Because we just keep That's getting right. younger, you know, the guys like Vito and Maurizio and those guys. So it, 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 you keep, you got another mentor under you for the younger generation. It's great to see him having fun at this tournament. Ooh, uh, it's not so one. great seeing him send a ball 12 feet past the Polino. Yeah. Though the American Sons of Columbus will welcome that. Maybe they smell some blood on this one. Yeah, maybe get a little break. Tie this one at two. Chris here leading for the Sons of Columbus. Oh, man. That's got Kid a Rock, pace. keep rolling, rolling, rolling. There's some room to work with here. Yeah. Leo's changed sides. He's changing his approach. A little more distance here. There's a lot of stillness in these bocce point throws, point yeah. rolls. It's not a whole lot of wasted movement. No. No, I did that's what I do notice about kind of these these top tier, top level teams. They're they're not wasting a lot of movement. Um, you know, in, in their form, so. Natali gives his ball a kiss. Kiss for luck, as we like to say, the soccer game. That was a little movement. You know, I, as I've said, mentioned, I, I have not watched a whole lot of games, but I don't feel like I've seen Natali point yet. And even in his pointing, he's, he's hitting balls. Mm. Which comes up, Chris has got to come down. I don't think that's going to play, man. It's a tough call. And First time we've seen Andy go to the tape. Yeah. It's a Home Depot special, by the way, for all you viewers out there. And Palazzo de Bocci has it by a smidge. First balls, we'll see John, the captain, play for this team. Now, what are you doing here? What are you looking at, Matt? We're pointing. We're, we're, I think he's playing into his balls on yeah. that wall. Hoping for just a push. A little push. A little, a little push does well. Trust your weight go through pure. That'd be two. Yeah, that's taken two with it, though. That's a smooth it play. Takes Look at two, that. It takes two. Me and you, buddy. He made a little bocce sandwich with that Polino. Oh, gosh. Cushioning the front, cushioning the back, giving Palazzo de Bocci a lot to think about yeah. here. Yeah, it's a tight one. There's a lot of look. action that's small in here. Jose's here to talk about it. Looks like they've set on a plan. It's Hunter's amazing. Hunter's showing the path. Yeah, there's not a lot of dissension. It's amazing how much they agree because they've seen so, many, so much bocce. Yeah. And they agree on the shots. There's not a lot of options. Maybe one to two, but you're not going to see them arguing like a bunch of old Italian men right. that we typically see, which is fine. But well, you're not Or young see players that haven't seen a lot of bocce yet. They right. still have a lot of ideas. These guys have seen enough. They, can, they have an idea of what to expect. That's a great roll. Yeah. He's trying to tuck it right in. Are you oh, kidding me? Oh, my goodness. Oh. It's good enough to shave a point off for the Sons of Columbus. They're still sitting one. They've got a ball to play. Now they've got some options. Oh, we got somebody knowing they're on camera waving. Oh. I love to see it. Fans of yours, Matt? No, no. Okay. My fans are all on their couches at home watching, and I thank them all very much. Really a shout out to everyone on the stream viewing this. Uh, everyone that came out to the tournament. It's Unbelievable. been a dream realized here this weekend. Uh, and thanks for letting us be a part of that dream, Matt. Hey, it's Honestly. my generous spirit, I yeah. suppose. You're like no, Santa Claus <laughs> in September. It's unbelievable you. No, but in, in all honesty, thanks for leading the way, bringing it all together, and just sharing the sport and the camaraderie and the time. It's awesome, yeah. man. Oh, I appreciate that. I really, I just, I believe the sport deserves a stage worthy of it. And we've got a 2-2 ball game here. Yeah, I called Sons it, man. Columbus. 
I called it. I said they were they smelled a little opening and they were going to get 2-2. Yeah. I got to take my money to the casino. Shout out to all my ballerinas out there. It is 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> it's 2-2. Two, two. Joe okay. giving us Swan Lake up in here. <laughs> He's sending that Polino deep. Is it going yeah. too deep? It's a little bit. Look at that. Oh, it is on the line. Okay. John didn't believe it. John yeah. thought it was going too far. That's a confident Polino throw. Yeah. I'm not making that throw, man. No, no. No. We both agree on that. Ooh. And that's the risk. That's the risk. That's running a little long on him. Yeah. Because you got to get it there. That, it's just until you're out on the court, you don't quite know no. how fine that line is between yeah. on the Polino or 10 feet short, 10 feet past it. No. And, 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 and unfortunately, I was out on the courts eight times <laughs> this unfortunately, weekend. Unfortunately, he says. <laughs> we gave everyone a lot of bocce. That was one of, no, it, one it, of the it, highlights and, of the and tournament. And you delivered. I mean, that, it, 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 like oh. I told you, Hunter. That is a delivery. Doogie Howser. 30 minutes oh. or less. These guys are really sticking like to their pizza. lineup. Shout out to Jets Pizza. I feel like yeah. we just got a Jets Pizza up in this. Detroit style. Oh, yeah. Let's see the rebuttal here. It looks like it's staying right there, Matt. It's not coming back in for him. No. I ain't coming around here no more. It's like Tom Petty style. So we've got two balls from Greg. He's got a point. He's got to be, he's got to be shooting his lag. He shoots this European style with his yeah. opposite foot in front, and he cradles that ball out there. Looks, it's a very handsome roll. Yeah, great spin and like just off the hand. Just, oh, it's tracking right at the poli the bocce oh, ball instead yeah. of the Polino. So go, expand on the European style. What, what were you talking about there? So, for most American players, that hand they're throwing with is the foot that's going to be forward in their stance. European players, they've got this, they've got it switched up a little bit more like lining up for a golf swing, a mm -hmm. baseball, throwing a ball. Uh, it a almost kind of opens baseball. it up so that your leg isn't getting in the way almost as it, that lead it keeps, leg. It keeps that, yeah, your leg out of the way, but your body is a little more twisted, so it's a little bit harder to stay square with gotcha. your target. That's why Americans tend to have the right foot in front. you able to keep your hips, shoulders, and feet all pointed at the target with ease. You see when he's got his left, there's a little more twist in that core. Okay. That's awesome. So I learned something today, Matt, yeah. from you. I didn't think at the top of this day that Hunt, was going to be Hunter's, possible. Hunter's delivering the same way, though. Uh, left foot forward. And you know what? That's why these guys are out at an international tournaments right. representing the United States, playing Ooh. against the world's best. That's sitting two now. Palazzo de Bacci, really a straightforward task here. Lay it in within about four feet of that Polino, and I you're stacking a point on the scoreboard. I feel like Jose is going to try to put a little bit more gap in this. They're looking for a casino. They're looking to bust open a little bit of a yeah. lead here. How hard is a casino at this level? Do you think it's rare? It, it feels rare. I, right? Unfortunately, I can't say I've seen a whole lot of bocce at this level. Okay. I mean, how often do you get a, a game where there's this high of a Caliber. quality of player on the, on the court? Six of eight traveling around the world to, to play in tournaments. Uh, oh, uh-oh. Jose Bato, he's only played in one tournament this year. Cherry, cherry bell. I think we got, I think we hit jackpot. Yep. That's all four. Oh. That's all four for Palazzo de Bacci. Oh, give it to me all in singles. <laughs> Make me feel like a big man. Yep. So we are playing this game to 12. Okay. Palazzo de Bacci just got halfway there. Quickly. Quick run, but it's a game of swings. It's a game of momentum. Yeah. Just because you have it now doesn't mean you're going to keep it. No. Uh, we're playing a little bit on the wall here. So we'll see if these players use that, that barrier and help that with their speed, their lines, or if it's, there is a bit of a, Almost just like like a, just a little a thing to, to, yeah. Something to get that, them thinking about. Yeah. Interesting, interesting cut there. Leo hasn't quite gotten his 
his first ball speed yet right. Yeah, I'd uh, agree with you there, Matt. I, I don't know a lot about, you know, but I know how Bache rolls. I think it's a little bit of the pressure. It, you, you're you're in a so? moment here. There's, we've got- It is a moment. We've got near 100 people around the court here. Uh, that's probably an exaggeration. I don't know no, how to estimate crowds. I, I mean, yeah, I, I'd agree. You know, I thought we were just sharing a personal moment, but we are sharing with, with plenty of people here. I'd say there would be at least 50 to 100. I, yeah. I, I agree with you. And then they know the lights are on, the cameras are on. Yeah, absolutely. There's people watching at home. It's, uh, it's a different experience for yeah. these players. Yeah. Maybe you're right, you know. I, they, I, I feel like they would they would play in this a lot, but maybe you're right. The energy, the different things that we've been, you guys have been, been bringing to, yeah. this weekend, maybe it's something that they're not normally in a, a type of environment they're not normally in. Yeah, it's a new stage. Uh, right now we've got two balls gone for yeah. Sons of Columbus, and Palazzo Debachi is still holding point. Let's see if the captain can... Uh, Captain can John trying to change things for yeah. him. That yeah. looks right. Hey, that matey. Grabbing the Lando. Lando. Taking the dog for a little walk around the block. Savvy, says Captain. And I believe ball. he put his knee up on the side, just like Captain Morgan after that shot. Sorry we didn't get that for all you viewers at home. With the ball advantage here for Palazzo Debacci, they have the luxury of taking a shot at that that blue ball and forcing John to roll another in there. Ooh. It, it was so fast, we didn't even get to catch it. We, we don't know exactly how it missed, but we know it didn't hit. Yeah. Now there's considerations. Are we lagging in now? We're lagging in now. Leo's going to try and roll one in close and tight. Because you're thinking you get one in close and tight. Uh, uh, Columbus has a ball still. And if they counter, maybe you point out or maybe you shoot out. I'm sorry. You know, depending on oh, what that, happens. But that, yeah. that was a bad break there for Leo. Now we've got, we're looking at two for Sons of Columbus, it looks like, based on that little kiss he gave their ball that was short. Natali, he's in a situation where it's time to uh, time to save his partner's graces yeah. here. Yeah, I so I was just thinking too. After this game, whatever team loses, at this level, are you ripping them a new something after I, it? Are, are are you like, hey, professionals, man, we 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 miss some days. Yeah, you know, everybody misses. I don't think I think the, these players all know. You're not making every shot, right? And there's a whole lot of game left. And you're feeling when you when you're you're the weight on your uh, you know, and you're struggling. And that's that's for your teammates to come and do that pick me. Exactly. Up. Yeah. That that's on the team. That's on the team chemistry, which we might see play out for Sons of Columbus. They have that chemistry built up. Palazzo Debachi, These guys know each other. They don't always. They don't often play together. Gotcha. Uh, so you might see the uh, familiarity. Uh, we've got we've got a couple brothers. Right, on the court here, uh, for yeah. Sons of Columbus. So we might see that yeah, Chris uh, and Joe, I believe, that trust come through and help the. I wouldn't say fully underdog, but if we were taking bets around the building, most people are going to put their money behind Palazzo. Yeah, everyone has their opinion, and you. Yeah. I mean, you got you got to give the edge to Palazzo. They they play it's their this, court. It's their court. It's it's their house that they built. And so uh, it's tough. It's tough to go in the visitors' arena. Yeah, I the house that they built. I just would like to shout out the Battaglia family, Annette and Tony, the people behind the the palace of Lake Orion. That Annette asked for one court and a pizza oven. And Tony decided to build this 10 court mecca. Mecca of Bachi. I mean, I, I, oh, nice knock. I, I, I haven't been to any place like this. No, this I gotta yeah. be honest. It's, it's, it's to, to, it, to walk in Friday morning, uh, it was something special. And then the people started piling in in that energy. And I don't know if these walls are, can contain it, to be honest. One, one thing that's been beautiful to hear from Annette and Tony and Jason, uh, our venue coordinator, the, the 
man behind yeah. the scenes Shout making it all to happen. Jason. That guy is running around and looking good doing oh, it. Oh, he's a be dap honest. dapper guy. I mean, working hard, making it look easy. Yeah. But they've uh, they've really embraced all the energy that this tournament has brought to the the building here. Yeah, it's I mean, uh, well, taking it to a new level. Absolutely. I mean, you guys bring a special energy. You bring the ruckus sometimes, a little and bit they've of ruckus. embraced it. Yeah, they've embraced it. You know, they said, yeah. you know what, these guys are great people. Let's let's let them have some fun. Let's not be on top of them, and and they've really exactly. let you guys kind of do do your thing. No so. sport should let a great shot go by without applause, without cheers. Uh, it's not about being for this team or that team. It's about being there for this shot. Right. Uh, I mean, listen to that. That's a consolation game or something going on over there. I, 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 passion, passion, passion out there. going on over there. Big shot, big shot from Jose there. He. Grab the Polino, change the game up. All of a sudden, the Polino's on the back wall, and Palazzo de Bocci is sitting two points. He's like the Nas of Bocci, just changing the game. Looks like Greg is trying to roll in there. Nice thing with this line, even if he doesn't quite get there, as long as he's on the court, he gives his partner right. another a, option. Oh, this is a beauty, though. Yeah, I'd take that all day. Uh-oh, oh. uh-oh. Uh oh, um, it's off the court. Okay. That is the that's the one outcome you don't want there if you're Sons of Columbus. I was about to say, come up a little short. Your partner has something to shoot at. You've got some options to play with. Now it's just repeat, but don't do the exact same thing. Right. And now it's in your head a little bit. But hopefully you know in your hand that how do looks I take hot too. how do I take four feet off of this ball? That looks hot too, but I could be wrong. No. Nope. No. Nope. Better adjustment, but still. Oh, this is a little window. Who's that peeking in your window, man? There's options. There's a. We're gonna need the tape. It looks like blue from these overheads. I agree. But we're all the way over here. They're right over the balls. Who is that Polino in the window? <clears throat> oh, now we're having the conversation. So for Palazzo de Bacci, there have two balls to play, both hunter balls. Pointing into this deep corner is a tough ask. You've got, they've got balls they can play with. They can, can try and, try and hit one of your deep balls. But that's not a, yeah, I, li I like this choice here. Confidence so to roll it in. Yeah. Another, another note for I those guess. at home. Uh, you're looking, hey, his foot's over the line. No, his foot's on the line, and on the line <laughs> is fine. Oh, he's going to nice like tap. the way he oh, looks. Oh, yeah. That is straight out of Men's Warehouse. Yeah, a Hunter. Little bit, yeah, a little bit of luck never hurt. He took a nice little spin, but Hunter, buddy. He gathers up a, a point for his team. Palazzo yeah. Debachi, seven. Sons of Columbus, three. Yeah, but this is, it just seems like, oh, that's a big gap, like you were saying before. It's, it's really not. It's a, it's a hard, hard circle to hit. We did a skills challenge. Uh, you participated in the skills challenge, yes, I'm sure. I did tremendous, Matt. Of course. Uh, and <clears throat> we don't have to hear the details, but no. the challenge, we drew s circles with chalk on these courts. Yeah, really cool. Actually, real cool event. And asked the players to drop their balls in these circles. They're two foot radius circles and it is harder than you think to super, put a ball in there. Super difficult and I thought it was a great way to bring the gold and silver divisions together because I'm telling you the top gold guys struggled and some of our really good you know some of the guys that can really shoot struggled in silver too. Yeah. So it was a really cool event. I, bringing the gold and silver divisions was one of the main goals of this tournament to show these serious players that you can still have fun and play good bocce, and to show the silver division players that there is a level above that you can attain if you want to put the work in it. If Absolutely. you love the game, you can, you can find a way to take your game to a new level. Absolutely, I believe one has to, ooh, nice knock. I, I feel like one has to feed the other a little bit, and so I agree with you. Uh, completely on that. Just before we went on air, John, captain of the, the uh, Sons of Columbus, my son came up, 13 years old. He talked to him, just said, you know, glowing things about, you know, him being here and 
participating at his age, and it's just cool to see. It's yeah, and bocce is a game that's passed down generation to generation so yeah. often. Uh, you gr grow up playing with your grandparents, with your parents. It's a game that doesn't know age barriers. Yeah. You can learn it when you're six, and you can play it till you're 96, Absolutely. 106. Uh, nah. Wow, what a hit from Natalie. Oh, the school of hard botch. Pressure's on Captain John with this ball. They've got a little ball advantage Hoist here. Hoist the sails, John. Lays this one in, and they're in a power position for this frame. Yeah. Bring the momentum back go. to their side. Go. That looks good. Yep, bat down looks the hatches. Real good. Yep. There's only one choice here for Palazzo Debachi. They got to shoot. Oh, Ooh. I'm wrong. Look at that. Foot in mouth. Leo's going to point in here. He thinks he can beat that, or he's going to try and kind of kiss up to it. Yeah, I think that's what he's going to try to do. Just he gave a little looks... stomp on the release. Yeah. Yeah. So for all my American bocce players at home that are used to just gently hit, hitting balls, right. taking their place, sending that other ball away, right. it's such a harder task on these long courts yeah. where there's little imperfections that can send your ball a little off path. Right. And some people ask, why do people shoot so hard? Well, yeah. Sometimes but you can control the variance side to side By when just you're shooting so fine because you're flying. But when you're, when you're slowing the speed to try to leave your ball softly, it's such a harder art, I feel. Yeah. And that window open allowed Sons of Columbus to lay a second point in. But just like that. Bring it 5-7. This Kaiser is a tight so game. Say. Tight game. A lot of good bocce on the court. Yeah. I think we got a ways here still, Matt. Buckle yep. up. Oh. I should have asked for a pillow to sit on, but yeah. you know what? Glutes Incorporated, they had me working out this morning. You should I've be got a little extra yeah, cushion. Yeah, you should be fine. It should be good. If, 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 if you really need it, I'll ask Dante, one of the bocce brothers, to come and just lay down for lay you down while for you me. sit on him. Yeah. He's a tiny dude. Full of heart, though. Full of heart. Hunter? Hunter does the uh, look at the target, then look at your hand as you're releasing. Right. That's a nice roll. Yeah. He knows these courts inside and out. Yeah. That's good. With confidence. Here's a choice for Sons of Columbus. Greg and Joe talking it out. They're going to point what their route is. They're going to. I think oh. they're coming across the wall here. That's a nice looking shot there. Ooh. I like these balls with the yeah the green and the the ne the neon accents are really yeah. they're popping. Yeah. I appreciate the bumblebees from Palazzo. Yeah. Um. And I, I want to take while we're talking about design, little shout out to Frankie Ostello who did all of our program, you, little graphics you see in the corner. Uh, just Frankie. like top-notch work. Relax, not... don't do it. Oh, that's a Polino seeker. No, oh, that's awesome. And that, that's a good point, Matt. Like all the work and all the people, all the that little, yeah. goes into it. Honestly, the little stuff. So right? many people pitched in. Uh, so many people want to see the game grow. Want to see the game hit a next level. We want. Uh, we want more people coming out to these bocce events absolutely uh, more get, newcomers more newcomers it's you a know? it's a easy game to learn it's a hard game, hard game to, to master, master. you yeah, know absolutely you know you knew exactly what i was going to say because took the words right out of your bocce mouth Matt. anybody that plays feels it right away yeah like oh okay i get this you hit a f couple good shots you're like oh i like this uh, yeah and i, I think the community is starting to embrace the newcomers more and more um the starters, you know, you know, first. Ooh. Oh, wow. Hit and stick. Oh, she goes the dynamite. Hit and stick. Jose, Woo! that's what makes him yep. number one.
What a ball. Oh, you can see the smile yeah. on his face. He liked that. Ooh, he's, I know you like that. <laughs> he's used to hitting that shot. He's not used to that response from that shot. No, Hearing 100%. Applause. Oh, I, give, I, got, I've, I have goosebumps you got over here. Oh, my goodness. You got goosies. No, man. It's awesome, too, man, to see these guys have a little, show a little bit. Yeah. Give us something. Yeah, they you know it's get okay. a little peacocking. Get a peacocking. You know, if you want to tear your shirt like Hulk Hogan at the end, do it. Maybe not that intense, but right. Matt, I, you get it. But I'm with I, you. I like a little smirk, like you said, from Jose. A little smirk, a little smile. Yes. Shows you're human, shows you're part of the community, shows you're feeding off what we're, the energy we're giving you. Yeah. I and mean, that's what it is. So the teams are talking about the options here. The camera isn't showing you their what they're looking at but yeah. we've got two balls for palazzo to bocce in tight one just behind the polino so greg's coming right at it Ooh. okay they had to take a shot and they were put in a tough spot it was hard to know exactly what to do and if you're not committed you're not gonna you're not gonna get breaks if you're not committed to a single path right you know? yeah it looked like a ball that was maybe a little unsure, or maybe, or maybe it was just a kind of a tough angle with your other ball sitting yeah. there. But either way, either way, it left with Hunter you. with an opportunity to lay in a third point for Palazzo to Bocce, and you got to count and on Hunter in these moments. Know. Oh my goodness! It might have just swung. Oh, it swung, swing. What another do we swing. have here? I think I think Jose one. has another ball to play though. I think you're Jose, right. That's so why he's making that walk. He's making the walk. Are the, are we at one or two right now, Andy? One right We're now for one. Palazzo yeah, Debachi. That's what I thought. So not so, a mistake you're gonna see Hunter make too often. No, but we just saw Jose hit and stick, which is an option here. Drag that Polino oh, back yeah. a little bit, and, and just and cash gotta, in on that casino. Yeah, you're you're gonna see him try and hit and stick once again. He is doing it. And it Oh my goodness! Wow, Matt! What? Let the crowd roar! I'm sorry I gripped your hand that tightly. Wow! I think we just that was Woo! that was a big drop on a roller coaster. That was excitement. Unbelievable! I felt we were riding the eagle back in Gurney. Oh my! Are you kidding me on that shot? That was perfection. I don't care who that, you that are. We got the smile back oh, from Jose. Look at it, look at it, look wow. at it, look, look at him. What a ball for all four. Palazzo de Bocci is Get one point on. away from the championship. Are one you? point away. I mean, oh, oh. that may be the moment. That may be the moment of the game. And if you're Columbus, that is a giant It's, it's hard to not be rattled a little bit by that. Here's where... John and Chris need to dig deep into their experience. No, they can't score if we score. Absolutely. There's no problems here. Right. Just take the point. Do your job, and you can still win this game. Yeah. There we go. John looks good. Ball's tight, so John's going to shoot. Oh, a swing and a miss. Just by the hair of that chinny chin chin. This is a big moment now. Yeah, because now they got it. So that, that hand signal is we're shooting the Polino. We're grabbing the little ball, the one that's just that big, and we're taking it for a ride. Okay. You know what? It's a good miss. They're still, they're in. Palazzo de Bacci has to play a ball. And you have gonna, some deep options. There's some, not, there's some options, there's some room to play. Uh, the only thing he couldn't do was miss again, and he didn't do it. So they're no, still in this. Been, that would have been uh, a rough, rough one to get out of. Let's Leo, see, maybe let's see how Leo tight this ball from Leo is, because that's really going to dictate what happens with with the rest of this frame. And Leo's short again. He's, He's leaving room. Interesting. He's leaving room. Yeah. Options here. Options here. The team needs Leo to talk the because there are options. Yeah. They can absolutely grab this frame back and get the game back in their hands. Yeah, you got to steer it back on the road. Uh, back on the road to Kansas City. Steer into the spin. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, because you don't, uh, uh, that was a little window. Doesn't seem like a big window, but that's a window for these there, guys. There we go, yeah. Chris, he's cool under pressure. That's got great pace. He, he wants a little more from it. He yep. wants a little more from yep. it. Yep, and I think he's gonna get it just he's, he's getting enough. enough. He's got it. I don't know if he was super happy with that, but. He's okay, he's but you okay. know what? Now they have something to talk about. If you're too tight, if you're really tight, then they're not thinking. They're just, they know they have to shoot. Right. Here, they're not exact, they've, they've got things to talk about. It's harder to commit. Right. So it doesn't look like a great shot. And honestly, not a great shot, but it's a good shot. It's a useful shot. Plus, you also have to feel like, how are you flowing? You know, yeah. how is it going? Like when you talk about Leo and stuff, he hasn't been able to really point that well. So are you considering that? Yeah. Or, I, 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 well, I think you're trying or, or to play Natale. the best ball. Natale, he's clearly a better shooter than he is a pointer. Yeah. Uh, I think he's going to get a kiss. He's, and he boy, got even it. when he points, he hits a ball and good things happen. Bump, bump, bump. And he's saying one, maybe two. They want to know. They yeah. want to know. Yeah. A little laughter from the guys, a little banter, friendly banter, but you know underneath they're, oh, they're, they're, it's, they're uh, feeling it. They knew that pace wasn't right. If he didn't hit that ball, that ball's 10 feet by, by the Polino. Yeah. But by hitting that ball, he got a little, he changed the momentum, the physics of things, and they're in. Yeah, that's it. So it's a, it, to an extent, it's a lucky break. That's why Sons of Columbus, right. They will laugh about it. They know the ball's around. Right, exactly. Anything can happen. Absolutely. And in, and this looks like a tough pull. You know, it, it's looks, it looks like a tough ball to point because um, it looks like you got to oh, yeah. lay in front of you. You got to lay. Uh, would you agree on that one, man? I, I would. I, that's, why, that's why we're seeing Chris line up to shoot. He's got. Oh. Ooh. And that is the championship. That's it. That he needed to game. grab that Polino, and it went just a little wide. Wow. You know, they, but it's all smiles. It's all smiles and hugs. They, they showed us some fire, but they showed us a lot of human side, too. Yeah, look to at To be the, honest, and I think that's what a lot of us that look at these guys and want to play like these guys. and, and stuff, yeah. I think that's what we're looking for, some human side, a little bit of Obviously, we know they have their sportsmen. There's a little sportsmanship, but a little uh, laughter, a little smiles. It's it's all love. It's all love and good bocce out here. That's uh, it's bringing a smile to yeah. my face just seeing the yeah. the reaction of these guys. And it's tough, man. And these guys know it. It's tough at this level, and they know it. Both teams wanted it really bad, but at the end of the day, it's good bocce. It's good bocce. It's a great show. Yeah. It's a great venue. Absolutely. Hopefully we had a great capture. We got, we got some hometown chanting. Yeah. We're going to have a party in hometown tonight. And we're going to hear our head official, Andy Zimmerman, talk to our champions awesome. here in just a, a few seconds. Uh, love. This is, this is live TV, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that wasn't an earthquake. We are not in San Francisco. We are in the Midwest. But everybody, everybody has a little. And we're, we're, gonna hear, we're going Go straight ahead, over man. to Andy Z courtside with our champions. Hey, we are here with the champions, the home team, Palazzo di Bocci. Congratulations, guys. How do you feel? Oh, it's a wonderful feeling. Fantastic. Who's the most excited here? Oh, I think we're all excited because it was a great tournament, great weekend, great players, and it's amazing. So it's hard to describe it right now. Yeah, I'm excited too. Hunter, uh, you're the youngest player on this team, man. How do you feel? It's great. Playing with my mentors, you know, in another tournament, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, great. And uh, how did you feel getting called onto the roster here in the last month? I think it just barely made it. Uh, how did it go for you? I thank them for asking me. You guys did a wonderful job here. I'm happy to be here. So. I'm excited. Hey, real quick, uh, let's talk about that four you scored with those two incredible stick shots over here on the wall. 
What was going through your mind before you stepped up there? Did you, were you looking for four the whole time? No, because I was looking to uh, hit the, the ball, the point ball square, because I needed a side that I hit, my ball was gone. So, and they have two good points after that, if my ball goes. So I happened to hit a dead on and my ball stays there. So it was uh, kind of a great shot. You know, it was an incredible shot. It had the, gave the people chills here on the rail. Uh, were you on an angle on that shot? Well, it's, uh, I was because it was the only way to see the ball uh, dead on. So because it was another ball behind. So and happened to be, you know, go there. So, you know, sometimes you, you got to go for it and, and w wish for the best. You know? I think uh, everybody here saw the souls of your opponents depart their bodies when you got that four. That was the beginning of the end. Congratulations, guys, on winning the very first American Bocce Open. Thank you. Thank you. All right, American Machico signing off. What a show we had here today. Uh, an amazing weekend. Oh, memories for a long time. Friendships for a long time. Yeah. Which is that, that's my takeaway, Matt. What, what, what's your takeaway from the weekend, would you say? Oh, boy, that's a big, I, I, I haven't decompressed, so I'm going to give you a first reaction. Uh, the embrace of uh something new in in bocce was really so invigorating i think for the people that have played in tournaments around the country or in their local areas uh to come out to lake orion michigan to the palazzo de bocce to trust american bocce company to put on a, a tournament for them and to just go with what we were doing and trust that it was going to be a good time and they all embraced it and had a great time. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. I think it's delivered, man. That's awesome. Yeah. I, it, for me, on a personal note, just being with family. My dad and my son are here today, man. I, love you guys. It's been awesome for you guys to be able to, to let me do that and bring them in. And I've had, like I said, memories forever. So. Goosebumps again, thinking about th three generations uh, out on the courts yeah. playing in the inaugural American Bocce Open. That's a that's a special special thing. Yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of that. Uh, you got the chicken foot guys, yeah. father and son. Um, yeah, like you said, generations. And I think that's what it's all about. And I think that's what you guys are trying to do. And you are succeeding in continuing to bring generations to the sport. And we want we want to see more people come to bocce uh, because it is a, a really a beautiful game. It's a game that anybody and everybody can play. Absolutely. Uh, there it's is, not expensive. You can play anywhere. Yes. Like you said. Exactly. Um, Just grab a set of balls and head to the lawn, right? Yeah. I That's grab the a set of balls way. every day, and I head out to the lawn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And as we were saying, there's, there's layers to it. You can... Yeah. It reveals itself to you as you go on. Uh, it's... It, brings people together too yeah. standing next to your opponent with a little bit of time to talk to get to know each other to uh then go at, go to the bar afterwards yeah. and have a beer absolutely uh, rehash the you know or just talk about family and friends and where you're from and what you do and and, and deeper life stuff yeah. you know and bocce is that introduction into that because you know there's just so much more that's going on here you know especially as as you get older, you look for ways to let your life uh, still keep growing and expanding. Absolutely. Instead of, and, and bocce can be that avenue for no, you. No, yeah, it, it can. No, it's, it's been a spectacular weekend here uh, at Lake Orion. It's not over. It's not over. It ain't over. I feel like there's only two places I've been this, these past three days. At Palazzo de Bocce or at the hotel bar. Okay. Maybe that changes. Maybe it's yeah. the same. I thought you were going to say in a different place, but but the hotel bar that's good too. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a good place to be at, mom and dad. I'm looking forward to just enjoying, soaking up the moment here with all these different players. Yeah, uh, and and hearing what their takeaways were from the weekend. Me too. I, I, I'm looking forward to the same thing. Going around and reflection. Yeah. You know, and a week, you know, down, down the road here. You know, reflecting some more. I mean, I can't wait to tell the boys about what a great time we had. Yeah. Um, and if you missed out this time, we'll do it again for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So thank you to all who came out to the original, the inaugural yeah. American Bocce Open. Thank you to all of you that tuned in 
to view the championship games of this American Bocce Open. Congratulations to our champions. Absolutely. The Bocce Bros for the Silver Division. Yeah. Palazzo de Bocce for the Gold Division. The old guard, uh, the new guard. That's right. Maybe. That's right. I think so. Yeah. I think we could have. That might be the takeaway of the of the tournament when it's all said and done and we're looking back 10 years later. Yeah. And me and you are still as fine as ever. Yeah. And we're talking about it in the booth yeah. next time. Yeah. It's still looking good. Thank you, guys. Thank you to Rec Rec. Thank you to Palazzo de Bocce. Uh, we are Matt David, Nico Tricocci, signing out for American Bocce Company and Maestro's Bocce Club. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you again soon. Good bocce.